A former employee of the U.S. plane maker Boeing who turned whistleblower has been found dead. Coroners say John Barnett died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He had previously raised concerns about problems with Boeing 787 Dreamliners, including quality control issues and failed tests. Barnett was involved in a long-running legal battle with Boeing. And adding to Boeing's current woes are ongoing safety concerns after dozens of people on a flight from Australia to New Zealand were injured on a Dreamliner. The plane, operated by the Chilean airline LATAM, suddenly plunged mid-air on Monday evening, causing passengers to be thrown around the cabin. Grounded in Auckland, New Zealand. The plane that experienced what the airline is calling a technical failure. Seen here wearing headphones, Brian was one of the passengers on board the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. A massive jolt happened and I, I, I was awakened and I looked up to see the gentleman that was sitting next to me on the roof of the plane. It was insane. I was like, I thought I was dreaming. The sudden movement threw many without seat belts from their seats. The plane just dropped really suddenly out of the blue. Everyone started screaming, crying. People were going, like, launched out of their seats. I saw people flying. They weren't wearing the seat belts. The people that were in the toilet hit the ceiling. Same thing happened to the cabin crew. Emergency crews were quick to respond to the incident. More than a dozen ambulances headed to Auckland Airport to meet the incoming flight. 50 people were injured. Now, experts are examining the black boxes to find out what caused the incident. The airline says it's working with officials to support the probe. It's only the latest in a string of safety incidents troubling the U.S. plane maker Boeing. And the plan maker has been under intense scrutiny for another model in its fleet. U.S. regulators have just completed an audit of the 737 MAX. Just two months after a door panel blew off one of the planes mid-flight. The incident was the latest in a string of safety issues plaguing Boeing in recent years. It was supposed to be a short, uneventful trip. A two-hour flight from Portland, Oregon to Ontario, California. But minutes after takeoff, a fuselage panel, known as a door plug, blew off, terrifying passengers and crew, and calling into question once again the safety and reliability of Boeing aircraft. A six-month investigation into the incident on an Alaska Airlines flight found that four key bolts were missing from the door plug after it left a Boeing production facility. The investigation also found dozens of problems with manufacturing and quality control processes at Boeing. Regulators say the company passed 56 audits, but failed 33 of them. Some experts say the root of Boeing's issues stem from a shift in corporate structure and outsourcing production. Boeing says it will implement immediate changes, including rewarding its employees for improving the safety and quality of its aircraft. Now we can talk to Emily Leshner from DW Business who filed that uh, report. Uh, Emily, Boeing says it will implement immediate changes. Will it and what will these changes be? I mean, it, it really doesn't have much choice. Um, you know, the company is really reliant, the success of the company is reliant on whether it's seen as safe and dependable in the eyes of customers and investors uh, and also aviation authorities. You know, it really needs to listen to fe federal regulators uh, back in March of 2019 after its 737 MAX jet, which was being operated by Ethiopian Airlines, crashed minutes after takeoff and killed everyone on board. The FAA decided to ground its planes, uh, as did the Chinese aviation authorities. And, you know, it, it, so it really needs to listen to them because grounded planes do not make for a good sales pitch. And this is perhaps one of the reasons why uh, it's currently behind its competitor Airbus at the moment. Mm, well, it's been a very unfortunate period for, for Boeing. that has been going on, as you have described, over several years. And just today we heard that a, a prominent Boeing whistleblower actually was found dead. What more can you tell us about that? 
Yes, it is. It is very sad. His name is John Barnett. Uh, he was a Boeing employee for 32 years, retired in 2017. And in his last role, he was a quality control manager at the uh, 787 Dreamliner facility in, in South Carolina. And during his time there, he says he witnessed uh, a number of issues with safety issues with Boeing's production uh, process. He tried to tell uh, managers about it uh, and they they didn't listen to him. So after he retired, he really kind of waged a legal battle against Boeing to try to get some of them addressed. And just last week, he uh, was in a deposition answering questions from Boeing's lawyers um, and, and trying to talk about some of the, the safety issues he witnessed, which had to do with the deployment of oxygen masks. And he, you know, he says that employees were kind of forced to cut corners doing things like using subpar scrap metal for the planes just in order to meet the production mm. quota that Boeing had set. Now, listening to all that, should I be worried if I'm flying on a Boeing plane? I understand that it can be uh, unsettling to, to see Boeing in the news under these you know, circumstances, but the reality is, is that flying today, commercial air travel is safer than it ever has been, uh, and cases and incidences like these have actually uh, been dropping. And so, you know, planes are outfitted with backup security systems so that in the case of an emergency, you know, something can kind of come in and, and, and catch it uh, where that, that gap is. Um, and I know that it's very easy to see flight crew as these kind people that serve us drinks and maybe get you an extra pillow, but they are trained primarily to step in in the case of an emergency. Um, and their, their focus is primarily on that. So flying is very, very safe. Some would even say, and some have said that the, the, the biggest risk to air travel is actually the drive to the airport. Emily Leshner there, not worried about flying. Thank you very much.